Okay, welcome back. This is going to be a let's play kind of maybe a first impressions at the end. I might end up doing a review of Underrail. Uh, this one's going to be a little short because, first of all, the audio likes to decide what it wants to be. I mean, we have music on zero right now, but for some reason, I don't know, it, it likes to change its mind. Um, anyway. Let's try that probably too loud while I'm talking so back to this I wanted to test out this camera and the green screen I've got and I figured this would be the best opportunity to do it uh, back to underworld I bought it back in I think 2015 maybe early 2016 played about 15 hours uh, it reminded me of fallout I'm pretty sure it's inspired by the original fallout and fallout 2 uh, now the thing with this game is, unlike Fallout and Fallout 2, you can't really, you, you need to, I mean, the best way to play those games too was to min-max, but that's not always the most fun. So, this game you definitely need to min-max your build. You're not going to be able to be a jack of all trades or a master of even two weapons, really. You couldn't go like crossbow and SMG, or maybe maybe you could do that. But that's about it. You wouldn't be able to use any of the Psy abilities that are in the game or, you know, some of the other things. I think the best way to play it is to pick one firearm weapon and then pick melee and work on your shields to kind of maybe have two sets of shields depending on what enemies you're fighting. But that's really far ahead of ourselves now. So let's look at the options. Seeing the music, video. I mean, it's bare bones, but the game really doesn't, doesn't need all that. And... Here's a lot of options for the game. I went ahead and looked at the forms to see what all has changed since the last time I played it. And I don't know. I can't really tell. I guess we'll find out, right? The game wasn't finished. There was no end zone back when I when I had it. Um, I see a lot of people complaining about the game being really difficult. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with saving, save scum, and stuff like that. I might just play through a little bit on this. And then get ahead in the game and kind of decide. I don't know. If I get any feedback, you guys let me know what you think. Okay. Okay. So, new game. Normal difficulty. Set the difficulty and the experience point system. Okay, let's see. what I can't remember what oddities do. I think this is what I normally go with. You gain experience... <laughs> You gain experience up by collecting oddities scattered across Underrail and by completing quests. Higher end oddities are found in progressively more dangerous and hard to access areas. No experience is granted for skill usage or killing, though some oddities are only dropped by creatures. Classic. You gain experience by killing enemies, completing quests, and utilizing certain skills. I'm not sure how the game goes about balancing this, so let's just pick oddity. Because from a roleplay standpoint, you think you would get better at using your weapon on a person or on a target you'd probably get better at both if it was a moving target right and eventually if you survived an encounter with another enemy in a shooting match you would get better at that but i think over time you either just get numb to the adrenal it doesn't matter we don't need to get into all the basics of combat um all right so we'll pick oddity and let's see here you can you can definitely min max so you can lower everything but i'll just read out all the stats and this episode will probably won't get into any gameplay like I said, I just wanted to test out the, the webcam and the green screen and show this game off a little bit. Okay, so strength. Strength measures character's muscle power. It affects melee damage and carry capacity. It's also important for characters who intend to use heavier weapons such as sniper and assault rifles and sledgehammers. Dexterity. Dexterity measures character's reflexes, hand-eye coordination, and finger nimble nimbleness. It affects many things such as operating locks, thievery, throwing, and initiative. It increases critical strike chance of melee attacks. High dexterity also reduces action point cost of unarmed and light weapons such as pistols, SMGs, knives, throwing knives, and fist weapons. Agility. Agility represents characters' reflexes, fleet-footedness, as well as affinity towards other athletic and aerobatic or acrobatic activities among other things it affects dodge evasion initiative and movement points it also allows the character to move more quietly increasing the stealth performance 
All right. Sorry, my cat is doing something over here and I don't want to look away. All right. Constitution. Constitution represents the health and general stamina of your character. It is important for all types of characters, but especially for those who plan on making the armor suit their the armor suit their main defense. It also helps prevent or lessen the effects of poison and diseases. Perception. Perception represents characters' ability to discern objects from far away, as well as to notice hidden things in their vicinity. It helps a character... Okay, this is probably going to help with uh, shooting weapons and finding traps, right? Probably. Okay. Will. Will measures characters' mental determination to see... Mental determination to see to his actions regardless of various mental difficulties such as pain. Okay. Intelligence determines how well the character learns and reasons. Uh-huh. So, I want to see something here. What is, I can't remember what the max is. Probably 10. Okay, so 10 is the max. 5 should be the average. Okay. Now, I am going to put a cut in here so I can read back over these. And when I decide to pick them, I'll cut back in. All right, hang tight. Okay, so that's real quick and easy. This guy's point points are not set up for min max, so we're probably gonna get absolutely smoked. Maximus is the name of a pet I had. Uh, he was a lab chow mix who died. He made it to 18 years. I was gonna put that in the name, but it won't let me put numbers in the name. Let's pick out a portrait. Have any normal looking dudes? Wish we could just hit random here, right? That'd be nice. Oh, we're not a scientist. I want somebody with a full mask on so we don't need to know their gender cut. There we go. Skills. I don't remember how all this works, so I'll read through it. You know what? That's going to be pretty dang boring. We can read through the important ones. I'll go through. If you remember Fallout, this is, looks like it's very similar. I can't actually remember. It's probably been a year since I played this. But uh, I'll cut again here, and I'm not going to bore you with needless information at this point. If you want to know more, ask and I'll make a separate video just on this. Okay, so you only get 120 points here. What I did is I just went with skills basically that go with our base stats. So strength or dexterity, dexterity here for melee. Um, it might actually end up making me drop my strength down to five and putting those points elsewhere since I can just use dexterity for this melee. That, uh, that'll help us out, actually. I know this is going to kill our carrying capacity, but if we're already using dexterity for melee, this is going to help with some of the other things that we have. Now it's just to determine whether we want to use dexterity or uh, agility for this. Okay, so here's how we have the points set up. I'm going to... Just leave it like this since we've got a decent perception i'm gonna put it here our melee we could probably reduce strength or dexterity and pick one or the other and that's probably what we're supposed to do here i'm not going to just to see how balanced the game is around not min maxing i want to see if there's any validity at all the complaining on the forms okay so but here's what we went with we're gonna need to end up crafting some of our own stuff i'm pretty sure mechanics is for like the steel armors and electronics is going to be for like your your personal shield things like that so here we go and then now we've just got feats and uh that's it and then we'll be in the game i promise all right so i'm, I'm gonna take expertise now i haven't looked up anything on this game or any guides obviously if this play goes a little poor uh, i'll reset do some research and make the experience more pleasant i'm gonna go with expertise though because basically all damage gets a bonus added to it up to a maximum of 25. I'm not going to go with pack rat because I can just pause the video and run back and forth to collect things. I don't think they despawn. If I'm wrong, we'll find out. Um, not going with ninja looter. I don't plan on pickpocketing. Nimble. I don't see our armor penalty ever being zero. Uh, everyone is out to get you and you know it. Detection increased by 20%, initiative by 5, and chance to... Whoops to critically hit reduced by three percent also your weapon and unarmed damage is increased by 30 percent against stealth targets that's interesting i don't think i'm going to do that 
Quick Pockets provides you with an extra utility slot and reduces the action point cost of equipping items during combat by 50%. Probably going to go with that. But let's keep looking. Increases your chance to critically hit with all weapons by 7%, but also increases your chance... No. Uh, I, I could get that. You can safely navigate. Yep, 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 yep. You can perform an aim shot with any single target range weapon for a guaranteed critical hit. Gunslinger reduces the amount of action points required to fire pistols by 3 and increases initiative by 7 while wielding one. Only applies to firearms. Looks like it only applies to pistols too. Heavy punch, hit and run. Every time you kill an enemy with your melee or ranged weapon, your movement points are reset to 25. Cannot exceed your maximum if they are below that number. I'm going with that. Alright, accepted. So, just a real quick look. You can pause the video to tell me uh, <laughs> stuff I shouldn't have taken. Here we go. Let's see if there's an intro I can't remember. Nope, okay. So we're going to get through this little part of the intro and then I'm going to cut the video, okay? All right. Hadrian Tanner. All right, last topic, of course. Earthquake repairs. What's the situation at the South Tunnel? Got to dig deeper to plant the explosives or we risk more damage to the tunnel. I'm not going to do voices in this one unless we get some kind of character that we're fond of because there's a million characters in this game and, you know, I don't have the skills for that. Almost everyone is working shifts up there. Shouldn't be too long now. Dude nods. Gorski, how's the security looking? Got one man at the cave exit and that's enough as far as I'm concerned. Automated security is strong there and as long as we know the crossroad and the cove are clear, no one can sneak up on us. Also, got one man at the underpassages and he's been ordered not to open the gate no matter what. The last thing we need right now are those bloody lurkers sneaking up on us. I don't remember what a lurker is in this. Might be a rat thing. Like a mutated rat. We'll see. Everyone else is up at the platform securing workers and tunnels. Good, good. If no one has anything else to add, that will conclude this council meeting. Actually, just one more thing. In case you weren't informed already, I admitted a new citizen to the station. Yay! That Maximus fellow? Yes, I think he will be a good addition to the station. He and Vinsel are still at the range, but that should be done any moment now, I believe. You put too much trust in your, uh, your test, Tanner. All I care about is how he handles live action, not how many points he got. <laughs> Well, we'll find out soon enough. Best put him to work immediately. We need all hands on tech right now. Indeed, that is all. Vera, Gorski, nods. He didn't say it. I think we're wearing the same mask. That's why he admitted us. He likes us. <sighs> Sounds really loud. An unexpected yawn interrupts Vinsel. He instinctively raises his left hand to cover his mouth, forgetting that he is wearing a respirator. A tiny smile creeps up on your face due to this very fact. Yet you understand that after so many hours of testing, these kinds of lapses tend to sneak up on people. Phew, that was loud. He soon continues. Cool. I guess this is like a continuing from whatever they were doing before we got here. Excuse me. All in all, Maximus, as far as I'm concerned, we're done here. I've got a few other things to do, but unless you'd like to have another go at the testing range, you have no reason to stay here any longer. As a matter of fact, I'd like to give it one more try. I never had access to a range like this before, so why not make the most of it while I'm here? Start the tutorial or skip the tutorial? Well, what I'm going to do instead is in the video here, and you take it easy.